we have a very special guest, a young entrepreneur, the project director of SMDC, the daughter of Mr. Henry C. Jr. Well, good evening, uh, Miss Jan. Good evening, <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. How's it going? And really, it's really a pleasure having you in our program. Oh, well, it's a pleasure having you. So, uh, since this is a travel show, I will start my question with uh, the number of countries you have visited. Well, um, well I've, I've been to several. Um, I studied in the United States for a little bit and um, also did a, a little bit of studies in um, London, actually. And, um, so, I've explored a, a few places in Europe. I got to take advantage of that while I was there. Um, and also here in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. So, um, did you study in the U.S. for like four years? Okay. What course is that? Was I that? did um, business economics mm -hmm. in Santa Barbara, actually in this small Christian college called in California. College, yes. Yeah, I've, I've been to Santa Barbara. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful place, quiet. Yes, I'm not complaining. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, conducive to studying, mm -hmm. right? So for all the countries you've been to, what are your five favorites? Um, What's in Iceland that you really like? Um, more than Iceland. <laughs> well, it's it's an incredible place because it doesn't look like you're even on the earth. It looks like a very, very foreign and strange land. It's just really covered with ice. Uh, there are spots with ice, but the landscape actually is very nice. You should also try to visit Alaska and Antarctica. Um, I've been to Alaska and it's very beautiful as well. Antarctica, I have You should yet. go there. Take a cruise ship. We're yeah, there. Have you gone? Yeah, I've been like three times. It's really awesome. Like, oh my god. We're thinking. Oh, Elephant cool. Island and all this stuff. We can't believe it existed. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. So one day probably when you have time uh, after work or maybe you're on uh, break, right? So um how did you find studying in the US? Was it difficult for you? I didn't really have, uh, I, ha I had to start um, building new friends, but I think there's always so much to learn that we're able to do this. Is there no, uh, like, did you have any difficulty in adjusting to people? Like, because you have different cultures, yes. right? So, adjusting to them. There were times I, I got homesick, and um, yes, it's a little bit different in the culture, but um, I guess that was the adventurous side of me that I, I just wanted to go for something new. Mm -hmm. uh, were you with your family there or you live by yourself? I was by myself. Wow, I'm 18? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what year was that when you graduated? Um, I graduated in class in 2014. Mm -hmm. So uh, you think uh, studying in the U.S. is more like, you're more equipped in the like job-wise after school, like, it's better to study in the U.S. than here? So going back to the country you have been, so you said you like Iceland, what else? Um, Israel. Oh, I've never been to the place. <laughs> it's an incredible place. It's a bit bucket list. <laughs> you should definitely go. Oh, so you, did you go to Hollywood? Um, yes. Like Petra and stuff? So. Um, I did go to Petra. What we did was, um, I went with my church, I mean, it's called CCF. Mm -hmm. And we basically went to um, the places where Jesus preached, he walked oh, in. And, and it's amazing studying the Bible and seeing it in real life. So we started in Egypt and we took a bus to Israel and from Israel we took another bus to Jordan. I've been to Egypt, I've been to Sahara Desert yes. and uh, also the pyramids of Giza. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> really, yeah, but there's some really not long books on the site. Yes, it's um, kind of commercialized. I, I know now. And then what else? Like uh, Asia, what are your favorite countries? Philippines has so much to discover, but I, I, I guess like Hong Kong is very close, and I'm a big fan of hiking, so I like um, oh, 
I know it in Hong Kong as well. And um, Japan is quite fun too. Mm -hmm. The only cool places I can imagine, like Iceland, Japan, <laughs> all this stuff. Do you, you like Indonesia? Pardon? Indonesia. I have never been. It's a nice place, but it's really hot. Like it's near the equator. Oh. <laughs> so, but beautiful. You should see that. Yes, I've heard about it. Oh, great. I uh, really love it. Thailand. Uh, yes, I, I like Thailand as well. It's very different also from our place. Mm -hmm. I, I like um, going to the markets there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Have you been to uh, South America? Um, I've been to Brazil. Oh. So we don't need a visa to go to Brazil. No. Passport, so. so have you visited Corcovado, Christ the Redeemer? Ah, yes, I have. The Sugar of Man. Yes. Really, I love Rio. Brazil. There are a lot of uh, like similarities between Brazil and the Philippines. I agree. Mm, a, lot, a lot. So um, you're young, being a director. So. Do you think it's uh, there's more pressure being a young director, being a young manager than like us? I became a manager when I was 32, but you're still young. So how was it? I'm not that much younger. <laughs> <laughs> so is it difficult? Was there more pressure on your part, especially the? You know, there's a lot to learn, but I think um, if you focus your um, effort on what you want to do, just being open to learning to, I guess like, um, well, of course, learning from those who are older than me. Um, I do, I guess, like in some instances, I do lack experience, but um, at the same time, like you could put in your own insights, your like, new approaches, I guess, like the things, the things that you've learned from other people. Too. Was it difficult for, for you to be a young director, a young manager with the uh, staff like 40 years old, 50 years old? Help out each other, kind of. Mm -hmm. culture. So even though it's more of a family thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, which is good. We have um, different roles, but in the end, everybody contributes. Everyone helps. If you have a good idea, then they come in, jump in, and then we just talk. We talk about it. Um, if somebody needs help in one place, we kind of all just help out each other. And um, and everyone who works in SMTC is actually they're really nice to hang out with us. So it's just, just like, there's no pressure really. You don't put a thin line that separates you from the rest. You don't. Work-wise, probably. I think with any company, there are like lines, but at the same time, um, I think the end goal is like what, what, is, what actually gets the job done and what's more profitable. I think it's better to focus on that. As long as you have one mission, one vision yes. for your company. So what's your style of management? Well, I mean, I, I still have, I guess, a lot to um, explore since I'm still thinking on that list. But um, this, like, just being open to this, you have to, like, yeah, you just always to be listen, open. listen to... You do some trainings for your staff, like, when I was so there, I was manager so there for three years. I also do personality development training. Yes. So, yeah, do you do that for your employees also? Quite personal, but how do you define love? <laughs> well, um, first of all, I I think that the component of love is feeling, but for me, love is an action, and um, which is which is even more important because, because feelings come and go. But I guess love is something you do that's where you don't think about yourself, and I think the greatest example of that is. God and Jesus for me that's my definition of love and I think basing and if we go down to relationships for example because at my age I guess everybody's mm -hmm. thinking about um, getting married or like having kids and girlfriends I think the first part uh, the first first place you should go go to is um, is God and it's like being right with him and 
we're, we're the same. I put God first in everything I do. That's, that's great. Yeah. And then family. Because after I, that. I think, yeah, after that, um, everything flows from there. True. If you start from God, everything goes smoothly. You will have to seek people or uh, people who have help. I mean, things don't always go smoothly, and, um, but Jesus always promises to be there with us. Anytime, even if you're a sinner, is there to forgive us and give us another chance of living life. Yes. So what are your advices for the young interpreters? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I guess always always be open, but of course have don't be afraid to also put in your own inputs because from the way we see the world, I guess we have a lot to come contribute as as young people to us. And then, what are the other more um, other countries you want to visit in the future? Like your bucket list. Um, Where else do you want to go? Oh, um, well, I, I like going to places with, um, that are quite outdoorsy. What is that again? Um, I, I want to go to places that are quite outdoorsy. So oh. maybe one day. Um, Machu Picchu, like in oh, Machu Picchu is beautiful, and, really and also Chichen Itza in Mexico. Uh, Machu Picchu, yes, Chichen Itza. Oh, okay. hmm, beautiful. Um, I think we do the culture. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, I don't know. Now I love it. Just like ten years ago, <laughs> visit the Chichen Itza, Machu Picchu. Um, maybe places like um, Everest Base Camp. That's nice. Like in Nepal. You've been also. No, I've never been. <laughs> I've never been to Nepal. Niagara yeah, Falls, have you seen it? Um, I have, but it's a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Because it's like other part is the US, other part is Canada. Yes. You have to visit Russia though. Russia is beautiful. Oh, I hear. It's a communist country, but oh, architecture? Beautiful. Well, that's something I have to get on. <laughs> Along with uh, Norway. Finland, these places, you have to to And Antarctica, I tell you. Amazing. You will share, you, you will reduce yourself in tears if you see the view, like, oh, is this, is this real? And I've been to the, what do you call this, end of the world. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's so, like scary, that's so exciting. Oh yeah, you can see anywhere, it's horizon right there. So on our way there, there are boxes. But we're in a, a close uh, van, so it wasn't difficult. But something that you can believe they exist, how powerful that is, like, oh, the glaciers, you can't believe. So really very pretty. Mm -hmm. Go South America, more of South America. Argentina, very good. So what's your favorite place out of all the places you've been to? So um, you've been to 90 countries? 90, yeah. <laughs> Spain is number one for me. I love Spain. I love Argentina. Most of the uh, South America is too far from here. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, North America is beautiful. Australia. I love Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, those places. You have to Papua go. New Guinea, I have to go there. <laughs> you have to go. And Samoa Islands. There's, yeah. And Tonga as well. Tonga and what do you call that? I forgot. Where they have uh, Bora Bora. Oh, you would love that. The, the, the beach, the oceans, the mountains, wow. So many, so many places to go and see. There's a lot of places to go. Uh, in Asia, have you seen the... Uh, have you been to India? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Mm. I would love to. And Cambodia. Um, Angkor Wat. You I should see that. I would to go there. I was oh. there for uh, America and I was there for a few months ago. As long as you're young, you can still travel, go to places you want to go. But uh, my next target is really the whole in the area. Oh, you should. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Jen, thank you very much for granting us the interview. Oh, Despite you your hectic much. schedule, you grant us this interview for a world. Thank, thank you. you and have a wonderful day. You too, as well. Okay, thank you.